All right. Um, so we talked a little bit before the show about the Ukraine situation. Okay. Um, that's my next question. What is your take on the Ukraine debacle, and then how does that affect Israel? Because we hear different things, all right, but we're looking at it from our American glasses. What, how does Israel see this, and, and what do you see coming? This is a very, very interesting uh, issue, and actually this is uh, the uh, most uh, topic that I'm going to refer tonight okay. in, uh, in uh, my uh, presentation. Um, I would say the uh, most important lesson that we have to take it is the uh, guarantee that gave in to the Ukraine in 1994. 1994 was the Budapest Agreement. The United States, the uh, United Kingdom, and Russia promised the Ukraine that they'll uh, disarm from their nuclear weapon. And in exchange to that, they promised them that they'll defend them and they promised not to invade. As you know, it doesn't uh, work so well. Yeah. So, uh, and, and all the guarantees just didn't work. So uh, this is the main lesson that uh, Israel need to take from that. It's not that, that we didn't know about it, that we need to uh, count on ourselves, but uh, this is the main lesson that uh, not only Israel, other, uh, other countries that are uh, allies of, the, uh, of NATO, for example, or the European Union, they need to look what's going on and see what kind of support the Ukraine get or not. So this is the main, uh, the main lesson, and there's more. We'll, we'll talk about it in the evening. Yeah. Steve, you got anything that you want to add? Um, on that. Yeah, I just uh, the 1994 agreement. You know, when when this whole actually when that when the uh, issue with the Crimea came up. That's was like, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. You know, they make an agreement. They, these guys disarm, and then Russia comes in and just takes what they want at, at that point. And this time, it's it's not working as well as they thought it would, but yeah, still. And if you take it for the long shot for the Iranian, for example. So the Iranian stayed aside, and they look and see what's happened, and uh, they have the drive to continue their uh, nuclear program. Mm-hmm. 